Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll tell you how to add members card into your app. The members card page allows you to multiple members cards specific to a user or user group and gives a privileged status to your app users. Now let's see how to add the page. Enter app name, select category, and click on next. If you want you can add your website here. Now select a design as per your needs and click on next. Now add member page. If you want you can change the page name from here. From here you can change the page icon. If you want you can select a solid outline icon or image from my library or upload your own custom icon from this section. Now let's move to members card area. In heading field, enter the name of your member card. From here you can upload header image. If you want, you can enable loyalty points in your member card by tick marketing this checkbox. You can check its functionality in the simulation window here. If you want, you can also enable QR code by tick mar marking this checkbox. Next comes generating QR code. The unlock code is the code that will be used for adding or redeeming points through QR code to generate QR codes. Once done, click on re regenerate QR code button. You can now print these QR codes and distribute among your users. If you want to provide this card with lifetime validity, tick mark this checkbox and provide terms and conditions related to the card. However, if you want to offer this card for a fixed tenor, select years from the available options here. Once selected, enter terms and conditions related to the card. From here, you can change the style of your text and make it visually appealing. Next comes advanced settings. Here you will see add points. If you want to allow your app users to add loyalty points in the members card, you can turn on this toggle bar. Now let's move to language settings. Here you will see all the default text currently being displayed in your app. If you want, you can change the language setting text from here and see the changes on the simulation window. Next comes page style and color scheme. From here you can change the page layout as per your needs. If you want, you can also change the page background from here. You can either select an image solid color from our wide library or upload your own custom background image. Next comes advanced elements customization. From here you can change the page elements, color, font size and font size and indent. If you want to hide borders, tick mark this checkbox. Once done, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.